Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerx coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys about the ultimate kickoff promo. Now of course this was the first promo that we actually had in the game last year and I think it could potentially be coming out maybe this week. It would make sense this week. But I figured to make this video just in case it does come out so you guys are prepared for it. Maybe you can make some guesses down below as to who you think will get some cards and who will be the master cards in the sets. Those of course are the big things everyone wants to see. But, with that being said, of course, I did also make a video going over the Mud Heroes promo already in depth. What you guys can expect to see from that. I'll probably have a predictions video for that going up tomorrow. So, be on the lookout for that either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, as you guys already know. Uh, the Hurricane's coming in, so of course, I pre-recorded some videos. And I'm still pre-recording videos for you guys, so I have some videos for the next couple of days. Just in case my power goes out and I don't happen to have it back on in the next couple of days. So be on the lookout for some videos. I already have pre-recorded uh, some useful stuff for you guys to go ahead and take a look at. But with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the Ultimate Kickoff promo. I think that if it is going to come, right, because there is the hurricane going on, so obviously EA is in Orlando as well. Um, I don't know if we're going to get it this week, but it would make perfect sense if they did actually pre-release it and have it set for Friday. So I'm back on Madden 19 to show you guys exactly what came out with this promo. Now, of course, the players in here, they're probably going to be different. I don't really know who the players are going to be. But I want your guys' opinion as to who you think could potentially get a Master Card. But as you guys can see, of course, there was four kickoff Masters. There's also some sets here. Use Series 1 or later trophies to receive a random Ultimate Kickoff Gold player. Also, there was a Silver Token to two Ultimate Kickoff Gold players which I actually did. There was also an Ultimate Kickoff Gold to Elite Player set. You can see here turning any 14 Ultimate Kickoff Gold players into a random Elite Ultimate Kickoff player. Then we had the Masters. Now with this promo, right, it's not a, it's not a ginormous promo, but there's some really good stuff with it. So you guys can see we did get Drew Brees. Of course, he was a 90 overall. Now, surprisingly, I actually have a lot of these set of players, apparently. I have a lot of these 82 to 83s because they're in packs all year long. You can see we have players like Mark Barron, Joe Tooney, KJ Wright, Jake uh, Matthews, and Juwan James. They got 82, 84 overall cards. Maybe even there were some higher ones as well. Uh, nothing really too spectacular when it comes to the cards in the sets. But... Drew Brees was a pretty solid card. We also had, of course, Ezekiel Elliott. You guys already know I was super excited about this card. I, I really don't know how they decide what players actually get these master cards, but I would love to see Zeke back into the game, of course. And the same thing goes for his set. It's 22 pieces, just like Drew Brees. And then we also had Brandon Graham and Casey Hayward. Now, in my opinion, right... I think Zeke was the best one out of these four. I know they're all pretty dang good. Drew Brees at the time was one of the best QBs. I think was the best pa uh, pocket passer in the game. Uh, Brandon Graham was pretty solid. I think we actually had Reggie White, I think, was already in the game. Or, like, some big legend was already in the game that I think was better than Brandon Graham. So he wasn't the best left end of the game when he came out. Zeke was, I believe like the second highest running back or the highest running back. We also had Drew Brees and Casey Hayward, which was actually a really, really good card. And a lot of people had this Casey Hayward card, and I think they also powered him up as well. But another big thing was there was these kickoff masters. There was three kickoff master cards. Now, here's the thing with this set that I think would make the ultimate kickoff really good if they brought it back again. So most sets that we've been seeing right now, and especially with the theme diamond set, right? So you got Drew, or not Drew Brees, you got uh, Kurt Warner as the master, right? So you need to put in those 32 collectibles. There was also other sets where you added in players, you got masters. I don't remember which set it was, uh, but I know a lot of people were asking me, do you get these cards back as NA? Oh, was the theme diamonds? Did, people were asking me if you got those cards back as NAT. Like if you did the Texan set, right? Do you get JJ Watt? Do you get Clowney back as NAT? No. But last year with the ultimate kickoff promo, as you guys can see, you have to trade. You had training Casey Award, Brandon Graham, Zeke, and Drew Brees to get yourself one of these three masters, and that adds a little bit of skill to it and a little bit of decision, I guess. Because when you do it, of course, you get all four of these cards back as NAT. You got Drew Brees, you got Zeke, you got Brandon Graham, you got Casey Hayward back. So if you put all four cards into the set, right, then you get either Keekly, AB, or Rob Gronkowski. But 
these cards you get back as non-auctionable and non-tradable so you're stuck with them so you can either quick sell them which will be the half the quick sell value or you can add them to your team now of course i actually didn't go ahead and complete this set i don't believe because i just didn't really feel the need to out of all four of these players i really only wanted zeke on my team casey hayward was good but brandon graham and drew Brees, i had no really care for I will say if they drop a set like this this year, right, and say they give us a really good running back, they give us a scrambling type of quarterback to be better, uh, they could go with a pass rusher, maybe an outside linebacker or something, and a cornerback again, I would consider doing the set. Now, of course, right, you do the set, let's say you spend 250k per player, I don't remember exactly how many coins these guys are going for, let's say you spend 250k, so you spend a million coins to do this set, right, but Antonio Brown sells for 600k. So you really spent 500k to get KC Hayward, Brandon Graham, Zeke, and Drew Brees' NAT. Would you guys do the set? I personally want it, but if it's a scrambling QB that can maybe get a skate artist, another good corner, or another good cornerback, another good running back, and a solid defensive end, or an outside linebacker, a middle linebacker, like a Deion Jones, yeah. I would most definitely think about doing it because if you're going to do this set, you want to make sure you want those players in your team for basically all year or at least a really, really long time because you're spending a lot of coins to go and get them. But you do get the Antonio Brown, the Keekly, the Gronk, which you can sell then and still get these four players in AT. There was also, though, solo challenges. And here's the thing with the challenges, which actually made the set a little bit more worth it. From what I can remember... I believe you actually got yourself a free player from the solo challenges as NAT. We can actually go back here, and the challenges will probably be still available for the ultimate kickoff. I know they're going to be like way, way back. And yes, yeah, so ultimate kickoff, there was 99 challenges, right? But if we go all the way down to the bottom here, you got yourself an 86 to 88 overall player all the way at the end. And you can see here, defeat them to be rewarded with an NAT ultimate kickoff player 85 to 88. Now, I believe if you did all 99 of these challenges, you actually got enough elite players, or at least close enough to, to get yourself one of these players. There was also, like, objective list. You can see here you got two gold players in that one, another two gold players, 82 to 84, uh, 86 to 88, 82 to 84, 82 to 84, and 86 to 88. So I believe you either got a free one or close enough to a free one where it really didn't cost you that much. Now, of course, the objective list is not going to be up, but there is also an objective list that you guys could go ahead and get done over here that would give you additional coins, and I believe it also gave you like an 82 to 84 overall lead player, so really gave you a lot of stuff to get done with the sets, but with the way they've been doing solos this year and the way they've already had a couple promos like this, like with the Mutt Superstars doing that, you got a free 90 overall or 89 overall player. I would not be surprised if they released the ultimate kickoff and say them set masters were 490 overall players. If you did the solo challenge, you got one random 90 overall. I would not be surprised at all. But then again, with the 80, 90, 90 superstars, right? There was like eight players. With this one, if they drop the ultimate kickoff again, there's only going to be four. Unless they changed it and decided to do more than four masters. Maybe it was like six, seven, or eight. And then, of course, have again the same set, though. Or maybe you only need to add four players instead. And you would get, you know, Antonio Brown, Keekly, or Rob Gronkowski. Something like that. That'd be pretty cool to see. But I honestly would not be surprised if they dropped challenges where you actually got yourself one of those players for free as NAT. So now we're back on over to Madden 20 because I want to talk to you guys about the market and how this could affect things. So of course, let's say they drop the ultimate kickoff promo and there's only four master cards with the 90 overall, four 90 overall master cards, but there's also like the ultimate master set with 392 overall players. How would that affect the market? Well, obviously right now, there's only one 92 overall player, and then there's 93. So really, can they do the ultimate kickoff promo like they did last year and have the set cards be 90s and the match be 92s? Absolutely. Would it change the market? Absolutely it would. Having that many good cards, and if they decide to do the same thing, so wide receiver, uh, tight end, and then middle linebacker as well, they could potentially do it, but they, you know they could change those as well with who they want to go for the master cards. I think if they ended up releasing three new 92 overalls, it would definitely change the market quite a bit. Now, let's say the master cards as well were 90 overalls. Now, if they did four 90 overall players, it really would come down to how good of a card are they and who are the players as to how it would affect the market. But let's just say they decide to expand upon the promo and do six or eight 90 overall players that you can get from the old kickoff. That would definitely change the market. I think four probably wouldn't change the market that much, but I think six or eight would probably change it a decent amount depending on the actual positions because of course you guys already see what happens when we get like a new center right so Kevin Kevin Y comes out he's 394k I bought Matt Burke for about 350k he's now down 
to about 270k, right? So if they release at positions where we don't have a player of that same overall, then yes, it most definitely will affect the market and it will make your players drop in price very, very much. We're really going to come down to who the players are, how many masters are there, and is there going to be a set like that again where you get that 92-93, and are there going to be challenges to get yourself that free NAT? But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment, and watch you guys comment down below and let me know who you think those 490 overall players could be and also who do you think those three 92 overall players could be as well with that being said though hope you guys enjoyed the video be on the lookout for this promo to drop maybe this friday maybe next week uh, i'll let you guys know and if, if i maybe i'm not replying to comments over the next couple of days it's probably because my phone died and i don't have any way to reach out to you guys so i do apologize for that but hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you guys next time